What's up, everybody? It's CKG, man. We back at it again, man. We got a uh, great, great episode for you guys today, man. Top five abilities. All right, my favorite, my top five abilities in um, all the Dragon Ball. So um, without further ado, man, let's get right into it, man. Number five, we have Super Breath, okay? Super Breath, all right? You know what Super Breath is. You know, um, it's it's your breath. It's your it's your your breath right <laughs> um really popularized by you know superman himself you know he's got the super breath going Ooh, going crazy right um a little bit of mixed bag when it came to evil boo as well he did it um you know Majibu has super breath um any any type of rendition of boo has super breath really and in the show really um i i ain't and he's got a little bit of that too you know you can use that um but i first seen it with raccoon you know i first seen it with raccoon i remember that using the breath man to tank away the um, beams and stuff, but Frieza. Frieza is the reason why it's on this list. And when he killed those three Namekians, man, <laughs> when he killed those three Namekians with just breath alone, I knew this show was, I, I was gonna watch this show forever. Like, like this show is for me. This anime is for me, right? Um, That move alone, all right? Um, As you can see, just, just, that technique is crazy. Like, even Superman, in Superman's hands is crazy. But I put it on this list for a reason because Frieza, when he did it, devastating. One of my favorite abilities. Okay, one of my favorite abilities and attacks. <laughs> All right, next up for real. Next up for real, man. Um, we we'll keep it going. Keep it going. Um, we have Stone Spit at number four. All right, Stone Spit. Um, not to be confused with Spitting Stone. Right. Uh, we ain't spitting stone like, you know, the rock people from Naruto, Anoki, those guys and such. You know, like, they spit stone, but we ain't spitting stone with this one. We're turning it into stone. Kind of like Medusa. Remember how Medusa, she looks at you, you turn it into stone? Well, this, you know, similar to, you know, a little bit, of, you know, how they got in Dr. Stone, right? Like, <laughs> oh, man. But anyway, um, remember the gargoyles? Remember the gargoyles? They would turn into stone at night, right? It's, it's a very crazy thing to be turned into stone, right? But nobody, nobody is like Deborah. Deborah spit can literally turn you to stone. It's one of my favorite abilities in the show. So broken, so unique, and uh, no one else uses it. I, I think he's the Demon King for a reason, because look at this one spit, and it just covers your whole body. There's nothing you can do, um, and you'll be broken, right? You know, you, you know. I think Goten or Trunks broke one of them. Like, right, even Piccolo try to run up, get spit on right you think you're gonna run up you get spit on uh you know take the clothes off if I was you I'll take the clothes off right unless you get hit but the technique is amazing and it, remember you spit on Vegeta remember he spit on Vegeta y'all that was crazy when he spit on Vegeta all right I couldn't believe it like what he actually got Vegeta and he actually killed Vegeta when the spit landed I it's insane how the show goes man I don't write this stuff guys but you saw it right there he spit on Vegeta and killed him all right Spit is devastating, especially in this universe. It's very funny and trolly, but this is an amazing ability, all right? That's why it's number four. All right, um, moving along, moving along, moving along. Oh, we got more stuff. We got more stuff, guys, all right? Um, fusions coming in at number three, man. Fusions coming in at number three are some of the be best abilities in the show. As you can see, uh, you go crazy with it. You're able to be someone else when you fuse into them. You get to uh, um, your memories. You get their abilities. Um, strength, all that stuff amplifies, especially you become one being, all right? It's essentially being two people into one, which is amazing, right? My favorite is Gogeta, without a doubt, immense power. Um, when I first seen it, I was in awe. You have some other um, fusions that aren't so really good. Remember Kabito? <laughs> I remember Kabito, Kai? That was funny. I ain't gonna lie, that was funny. And permanent. But um, <laughs> there's other fusions that aren't so permanent. Um, but there's other fusions that are pretty good, you know, with Karama, you remember that, Naruto? But also, um, when it comes to Naruto, Samahata fused with Kisame. That was, oh, that was insane. That was a great fusion. Um, Madara, of course, Hashirama, you know, that's another good one. Dragon Ball fusions, you know what I mean? That's another good one. Uh, but my favorite is Piccolo. Namekians, absolutely broken. All right, you get the strength and abilities. You don't, you know, you don't really physically change, like, your appearance, which is cool. But you get that person's memories, their abilities, their strength, everything amplifies you. And when it came to Namekians, it was the best. I mean, remember when the Universe 6 Namekians fused with like a, a billion of them, right? It's amazing, all right? Fusion for the win, 
okay? <laughs> absolutely fun, absolutely brilliant, and I love the ability in the show, okay? Moving along. All right, all right, we got more. We got more for you guys. Stay right there, stay right there. Now, this is number two, portal opening. And I was just thinking, like, what? portal opening, yes. All right, not like portal, you know, the character from um, Spider-Man and Spider-Verse, you know, but a lot like that. Remember Thanos was portal, you know, it was portal hopping, all that portal hopping. Um, it's really good to fight. Darkseid uses it a lot. He uses it to leave, to get out of there. Um, you see it in Boruto too. They use the portal like crazy. <laughs> like, look at that, look at that. Um, Sasuke as well. Um, my man, Doctor Strange, you know? And of course, the best portal fighter I know, really, is Quan Chi, right? Quan Chi kills you, uses the portals, and he's killing you. It's essentially a gateway to another, I, mean, I could say another dimension, but it could be this dimension too. It's just a gateway, it's like a door, right? Remember Ed and Eddie's? playing around some masu he wasn't getting around with his portal fighting i like portal fighting man it's it's going crazy and it should be here remember dead zone y'all yeah, remember that right um but my fate oh the portal opening though i ain't gonna lie the portal opening scream from majin buu was insane absolutely insane um <laughs> but i'm not gonna hold you portal fighting is some of my favorite techniques in the show and none other than janimba really really put that this is a display, all right? Um, it was amazing, it was amazing. All right, Future Wars, it was one of my favorite movies, and this is why. The portal fighting and the abilities of Janimba was insane. And to be able to portal fight, you can leave your opponent off guard, it is good switch up, and it's a good ability, right? And able to go in, you know, in and out, it's almost like teleporting in a way, it's weird, right? It's a weird thing to do. Look at this, look how he just teleports the key blast and then just redirects it to hit him. All right, we even seen it in Super with the giant thing they had in Super in the Tournament of Power, which is good that they pay homage to like Janimba because the guy was giant too. And I like that, I like that, man. Keep these abilities coming. But this is one of my favorite techniques of all in Dragon Ball, all right? Portal opening, crazy, crazy, all right? We just scratched the surface with this one, all right? This one, my absolute, one of my favorites, all right? Magic materialization, okay? Now, when I was thinking, wait, wait a minute, what did he just say? <laughs> yes, what did he just say? Magic materialization, all right? Now, that is just making materials magically appear, right? Like uh, some cartoon stuff, right? I know what you're thinking, like, what? Like, yes, like, yeah, you make things just magically appear. Um, For instance, clothes, all right, clothes. Weapons, you never spiked the devil? He just made, you know, a triton appear. Um, you know, Deborah, he made his sword appear. You know, when he, when he was fighting um, with Gohan, you know, he could just sprout a sword out of nowhere. It's just basically using your magic. Remember, um, King Kai used it to make weights on Goku. Um, who else? Gas. He used it to make, like, great weapons. You know what I mean? Like, it's great to use weapons for these abilities as well. Um, but he's not the only one. He's not the only one, all right? Um, again, Shao Kahn. Y'all remember how he used to spam his hammer, right? The hammer just materializes, and boom, you're dead. Right, like that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about just magically making stuff appear or like honestly like helping you in a way when it comes to battle or just in regular life. I would really like this ability. It's so broken. Remember how, you know, you know, you know Sailor Moon? <laughs> All that stuff will materialize, you know, clothes, like I said earlier. Um, for instance, Momo from My Hero, that's her quirk is, you know, you know, her quirk is she can make stuff. She can, you know, create, which is cool. You know what I mean? Like, and it's the same type of properties, right? Well, not so much magic. Hers is a quirk, right? <laughs> pretty, pretty slick quirk, right? Hey, I, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. She's one of my favorites too. But you know, I don't have to sew. You don't have to go through that process. You can just use magic and boom, new instant clothes, strong clothes. Hell, you can do armor if you wanted to. Um, but my favorite just on display was absolutely the clothes beam. The clothes beam, you know, King Kai used it. Um, of course, Piccolo, Namekian's all for that, right? The, you know, Piccolo coined that. Now, um, again, I believe Kami made Goku's armor too. So the clothes beam is by far my favorite. One of my favorite things to see in all of Dragon Ball, all right? Look at the stuff you could just do. You can make all types of things with this magic stuff. Beams, clothes, arenas, weapons, all that good stuff, all right? Well, that's it for me for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Well, those are my top five abilities in Dragon Ball, all right? I'm gonna do another video like this, man. Make sure you hit that like button and I'll see y'all in the next episode, man.
Thank you.